The 1950s, as you can imagine, were complex times in Germany. The country in general disregarded the Holocaust, at least until prosecutor Fritz Bauer insisted on dealing with the country's history. Now a new film called Labyrinth of Lies brings this uh, fascinating story to the screen. Shachal Pelled met with the film's director and its star and brought back this story. The Nuremberg trials held by the International Court and Adolf Eichmann's prosecution in Israel are famous as historic legal actions against the Nazi atrocities of World War II. But for his debut feature film, German-Italian director Giulio Ricciarelli decided to shed light on another significant tribunal, unknown to many. We tell the story how in the 50s, German society was basically denying and not talking about the Holocaust at all. So you had a young generation growing up without knowing about it. In 1958 Frankfurt, nobody wanted to look back at the time of the Nazi regime. Facing great political and legal resistance, German prosecutor Fritz Bauer initiated an investigation against members of the SS who served in Auschwitz. His first legal approach was to say Auschwitz itself is a murder machine. Anybody who did anything there was part of this machine and was guilty. In his film, Ricciarelli chose a young fictional prosecutor as the lead, with Bauer's character in the supporting role. It was important to have a young protagonist who's also himself uh, discovering the story. And that was just, for the drama, it was very useful to have, to look at the time through his eyes. Wir sind eigentlich unsere Verdächtigen. Alle. Wie alle. Alle, die dort gedient haben. With everyone seemingly involved or guilty in what took place at Auschwitz, the movie probes Germany's greatest dilemma. Wissen Sie, was Sie da anrichten? Wollen Sie, dass sich jeder junge Mensch in diesem Land fragt, ob sein Vater ein Mörder ist? Ja, genau das will ich. Ich will, dass dieser Lügen und dieses Schweigen endlich aufhören. There's a certain tiredness about the subject, so people say, okay, we know everything about it. And this is something that, I, that changed for me while shooting the movie because now I know that there was, there was a strong danger that this confrontation might have not be happening. Alongside a wave of new films dealing with the story of the Holocaust, from the Oscars Best Foreign Film Ida to the winner of Cannes Grand Prix Son of Saul, the Labyrinth of Lies provides a unique glimpse at how Germans dealt and continue to face their self-inflicted wounds. When you switch on the TV in Germany, you will always find a program that is, you know, speaking about the Holocaust. Um, but what we now call coming to terms with, with history took, took us such a long time. And, 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 and this, is, this is our approach and this is the approach of, of the story. Bringing it to the Israeli audience was an emotional experience, especially for second and third generation Holocaust survivors. There are so many films about the Holocaust, but uh, this one uh, is more about how is Germany is actually reacting to the history of the Holocaust. As he brings this forgotten story into the spotlight, Ricciarelli hopes, much like Bauer ahead of him, to educate and illuminate on crimes of the past. Germans doing a trial on Germans. That was an important thing, and it, but not just for Germany, I think, for the whole, for all humanity was a momentous uh, moment in history.